Was geht ab, was geht ab, welcome guys. Yeah, and I told in the last video uh, that I will cover all the other SSS heroes in the next video. And yeah, here's the next video, here we go. We look at all the other SSS heroes and what I think is the best to use on the commander. The first one I think is Luke. And for Luke it's not a big deal to have plus two on his ultimate. So I recommend to get plus one on all skills, to get more uh, attack damage on every hit and receive more energy on the passive, so he can use often more often his ultimate. So plus one all skills is the uh, best, I think, for Luke. Now we get to Ravenna. And yeah, for Ravenna, I think the best is to use plus two on ultimate. She really is, her ultimate is really his core skill and she does a lot of damage with it. So here is plus two on ultimate for Ravenna. Then we go to Creed. For Creed it's obviously plus one to all skills. Um, he gets a little bit boost damage on the ultimate. He gets a little bit boost damage here. He gets a little bit boost damage here and he receives a little bit more defense and damage reduction and the defense is also giving him a little bit more of uh, damage. So it stacks together. Yeah, so all skills plus one is the best if you want to use Creed. For Miranda, it's obviously uh, plus one on all skills. She gets more healing on the ultimate, she gets more healing on the repair skill. She gets, uh, you can do more damage to the enemies. And uh, the attack boost is uh, stronger, 2% more attack boost for your best heroes. And the next one is Bailey Hudson. On um, Bailey Hudson, you really want to have uh, plus two on ultimate. His ultimate is really strong. So you, you go for plus two on ultimate on Bailey Hudson. For Sorvale, you obviously want to go plus one on all skills. On Sorvale is the best for the commander, cause her ultimate is not that uh, big of a deal. It's a little bit more HP drain heal, but her heal isn't that insane and the damage isn't that insane too. So you're looking like your dear spirits get a little bit more attack and defense and a little bit more H H HP. Why I always struggle, struggle to spell this HP. Yeah. I don't know. And important is here the chance um, to summon uh, more deer spirits is increased. It's just 1%, but every percent matters, is uh, my opinion. And the 1% is the base chance, so your accuracy applies to the base chance. So it stacks a little bit up. And the next one we're going is Dominic. He's the new guy and for him you obviously want to go on plus two on ultimate. His ultimate is his base, his core skill. He's very strong, his ultimate does a lot of damage. And yeah, you want to focus on this. Same thing with Nadilus. Nadilus, you really want a plus two on his ultimate. He does a lot of damage. He is doing um, multiple strikes on it. And yeah, if you're playing Nadilus, aim for it. On Masani, you want to look for plus one alt skills. Um, the healing of his ultimate gets a little bit boost. The healing of his uh, common skill gets a 1% boost. Uh, the shield gets a 1% boost and his damage reduction increases by 1% too. And then we have Zyda. For Zyda, her ultimate is his best, her best skill, her main skill, so you want to push the ultimate. It's 4% more damage on the ultimate, which is, which is um, a big boost. So on Zyda, you're looking for plus 2 on ultimate. Rickard, we already covered in the other video. Then we have Prigor. For Prigor, you're going to want uh, all skills plus 1. Have a little bit more damage on the ultimate. Increase the attack speed. This is important um, on uh, most, uh, mostly Disa. 
Um, it's also increasing the attack speed for Alice in the same row. So you really want to have all skills plus one on her. You get a little bit more damage on the Feather Blade. And the multi-strike damage is increased uh, too. Which is really good for her. On Emma, there's only one, <laughs> one thing. You want plus two ultimate on Emma. Uh, her ultimate is her main score, uh, main, main damage source. And yeah, we want to increase this. It's like 40% mehr. It's really nice to have. So if you have Emma and want to play Emma, go and look for plus two ultimate on Emma on the commander. Um, then we go for uh, An Aniruda. On Aniruda, I think you want plus one all skills too, because it's not as damage on the black hole that you are mostly looking for. You get the damage from the mind uh, deprivation. And yeah, the nightfall, the radius, uh, enemies in the radius get more uh, damage. And you get more bonus damage when your mind corruption uh, is on. Uh, no, for each accuracy, inflicts 2% bonus damage for each point of accuracy. Ah, okay. So you get for each point of accuracy 2.7% more, more, more damage boost, which is nice. I think this is the best thing of it, of his kit. So it's good to push it with plus one on all skills. For Bota, you also want to look out for plus one on all skills. You get the more healing on, of her ultimate. You get the healing of her touch of life uh, more. You get healing here uh, more and you get a bigger shield which is really really nice. So Bota definitely all skills plus one. Guan Yu. <laughs> I don't think uh, many people are playing Guan Yu. I, you see I don't use him too. But I, if I look at the skill I think plus one all skills is the best on Guan Yu. So you get here a little bit more damage, you get here more damage, you get here more damage and the bleeding effect gets more damage. It's better to have four skills more damage than one skill like a little bit more damage. So we're going for a score. In score you definitely want to have a plus one all skills. Um, yeah, you get the more damage of his ultimate. Uh, you get uh, more crit rate and crit damage and you boost your your team a little bit more it gets here more increases attack and defense yeah and here you boost your team more you get crit rate boost um, then we have Moyami I didn't really use that, right now she's only epic plus one. Um, I'm slowly getting some copies to um, Summit Arena. I think for Moriyami you want to go plus two on ultimate, cause her ultimate is pretty good and you're increasing the number of the swift basic attacks by two times, which is really good on her. And Rhyseris. Rhyseris is one of the newer champions, pretty cool looking and I think yeah, I didn't play her very much but I have a, a friend who plays her very much and he said um, Rhyseris is best to have ultimate plus two. And last but not least we have Azina and Azina is, yeah, yeah ultimate is like a very best skill and yeah she's dealing a lot of damage like Emma with, this, with her ultimate so definitely want to go plus two ultimate on Azina yeah now we like covered all the SSS heroes and yeah let's let's check out the most used non SSS hero um, it's Serena and on a Serena you really want to focus on plus one all skills she gets more healing more healing she gives more defense, 
and she gets more healing. Yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you want uh, to be covered, to have um, a hero covered in deep, um, that I will go more all in on him, just leave me a comment. Or if you want to have like some special heroes I didn't cover, like of the non SSS heroes, just leave me a comment. Let me know uh, if you want something or recommend something. And I will do it. And yeah, leave a thumbs up for the video, hit the subscribe button. And yeah, don't miss out any of the other Eternal Evolution videos that are coming soon. Peace. You are Reza and Einstein.